proud of our proud of our guys. Thought we showed tremendous grit, uh, determination. Uh, didn't play great football um, as we went through the game, but I thought our kids played really at a high level, special teams wise. The uh, played at a high level, special teams wise. Thought our defense. Uh, bent, but they didn't break. Um, and I thought we flew to the ball and tackled better than we had any point this season. Um, and then offensively, we just found some ways to make some key plays. Uh, those guys are good on defense. They're going to be good on defense. It's going to show as it goes through the year. Um, I, I want to say this. this is, I think this is a tremendous atmosphere for college football. These are great fans, really good people. Um, and, and I want to say this to the Nebraska fans. You're going to be fine. Like those guys over there, like Scott Frost and – those guys that they, he has on defense, that staff in particular, like they're going to get it done here. And they're going to win, and they're going to win big, and they're doing it the right way. Um, so I don't want the narrative necessarily to be about that. Um, we've got good football. We've got good football players. We've got a good football team. If you look at what we've done over the last three years, our guys fully expected to come in here and compete and have the opportunity to win in the fourth quarter. And that's what we did. That's what we did. And we've been nationally ranked. We've beaten LSU at LSU. Um, you know, I think – Boise, I don't know how their game's going now, but we didn't play very well in week one, and I think they're really good. Um, you know, are they that much better than us? I think it, it's to be determined. I think it's closer. Um, but our guys have really improved over the last two weeks. So the narrative needs to be about us and what our program's doing. That Nebraska's going to be fine. They're, they're in good hands, and they're going to have a quality program, and I've got a lot of respect for, for Scott and his staff. Um, but, again, proud of our kids. I thought defensively, Tron Folsom, uh, his energy – uh, his tackles were tremendous. Will Sunderland made a huge interception to finish the game. Um, you know, on special teams, Tyler Sumter may have been the most valuable player. I mean, really punted the ball, flipped the field several times, made all of his field goal and PAT attempts. Um, you know, a lot of names. Uh, backup quarterback Sawyer Smith had the huge third down conversion to end the game, had the huge run to set up our, our other offensive touchdown. Uh, so I can list a bunch of names, but I'm proud of our guys. Uh, with that, I'll open up to questions. You said... Uh made some big improvements the last two weeks. What specific areas are you seeing the most growth? Well, defensively, we just didn't play up to our standards in week one. Um, now, Brett Rippon, the quarterback at Boise State, had a lot to do with that. But we just didn't play with the same level of, of energy and physicality that, we, that we've been accustomed to here. We play – the way we play defense is the way we play today. And we hadn't necessarily shown that so far this year. Um, you know, last week we convincingly beat Florida A&M. Um, and we're better than them. So it's, it's hard to really get a picture of how much improvement we made. I told our staff early this morning when we met, I said, this game's really going to tell us where, we at, where we're at. Win, lose, whatever happens, it's going to tell us where we're at. Um, we're fortunate to win the game. Um, now it's about how we handle this win moving forward. Hey, I didn't even answer your question. The, big, the biggest improvements we made is defensively is our energy, our tackling. We tackled in space much better, and we forced turnovers. Okay, we, we had several takeaways last week and a couple key takeaways this week. Special teams really did make the difference out there, didn't they? Yeah, they were huge. You know, I, I talked about our punter, Tyler Sumter. Um, he, he, with the first punt of the game, hit a bomb and really continued. I mean, his stats, I think, up to really close to, uh, to uh, I think, 50 yards um, of net punt, which is incredible. I think our coverage unit, uh, Brandon Hall handles our punt team, our special teams coordinator, and he's done a really good job. We've changed philosophy of what we do and, and been more coverage oriented, and our guys have really bought into that. Um, the field goal, I thought, to go up in the game. If you look at statistics, statistics across college football, the team that scores first is winning at a huge mark right now. So to get on the board first, I thought that was big. Um, you know, we obviously we gave them a field goal too because we fumbled the punt down there. Um, but Brooker made up made up for it by returning the punt for the touchdown. Was there something you saw on film as far as returning the punt for a touchdown? Was there something that you guys saw that you wanted to try from the first week, or was it just? what you guys practiced. Yeah, we just we ran our base return. It wasn't anything special or anything we created for um, – you know, their guy does a really good job of, of getting the ball down the field. Um, you know, I didn't I, – I wouldn't – obviously didn't have a watch on it. I'm not sure what the hang time was. Uh, we put an emphasis on our hold-up technique. Um, really in the last two weeks, guys did a good job. Um, and then Rooker did a really good job getting vertical. You know, in punt returns, when you go east and west, very, very little success. When you go north and south, when you have your big returns. And a lot of credit to our guys for really 
just like I said, a lot of grit in those returns because you got to hold blocks and do those type of things. Did you have to change your game plan at all, not knowing who would be starting at quarterback for Nebraska? Not really. We, um, not really. If Martinez played, um, you know, we were prepared for him. You know, the backup, uh, he, he, I thought he did some things. I thought, I didn't think he did bad against, at the end of the game against Colorado. Honestly, um, under some tough, tough circumstances, um, I saw on YouTube. I saw a little bit of him in the spring game. I was impressed. So, you know, we'd we'd have played the same way against Martinez. Um, you know, Martinez is special. He, he's a, uh, an elite runner, um, and he's got great arm talent. Who's, who's going to be a tremendous quarterback in the Big Ten? But we prepared the same way for both guys. Thanks. You got that uh, drive in the fourth quarter, kind of. Put you up that extra touchdown, which ended up making a difference. So. It did, and I told I told our staff on the headsets. I said, "Man, we've got to we've got to score one more touchdown to win the game." Um, just because they've got some elite athletes, the Spielman kid, the Jenkins kid, um, the Washington kid, Bell. Those are some some really high end a- athletes, and I knew they would break one at some point. So I felt like uh, for us to win the game, we had to get. Uh, to the 24 at least. And we felt like to win the game, we were going to be in the 20s the whole time. Um, so that last score was good. We were just trying to figure out ways to run the ball. You know, they had such a decisive size advantage on us. Um, you know, and we're, we're young on offense. First time our quarterbacks have played in this type of environment. Um, they did some good things. Didn't handle the, the, the noise very, very well at all. We had several procedure penalties and things like that. Um, but we did find a way. We did find a way. We finally got some unbalanced sets that, that we were able to take advantage of some things.